an exciting tutorial. Uh, someone has requested me to do this, so I instantly just did it. Uh, what I want you guys to do first is get this shouting gun logo. Get it from anywhere. I got this picture from Google Images. So it's actually not mine. I'm sorry from the guy who stole it from, and I credit your work, blah blah blah. But I want you guys uh, to search for an image like that. And we're gonna drag that image uh, over our footage. So your footage is different, of course. Drag the image over the footage. And you're gonna get this. Yeah, basically just this shotting gun, but it has a white background. So we're gonna take the mask pen tool, select the shotting gun. Zoom in to be a bit more perfect on your masking. Take the mask pen tool and basically just start masking out your shining gun. So the white background is not going to be visible. And I'm just gonna do this quick, it's not gonna be perfect. You can work on yours and make it perfect. Like that. And now we'll just feather it out for like two pixels. And we're gonna go to mask expansion because if you feather it out you're gonna see white outlines and mask expansion is actually gonna be minus two or minus one uh, minus one is better in my case and we still want the black line to be there okay so we're gonna add an effect called stylized glow effect stylized glow on the shining gun and just change around with the intensity like make it 1.9 and it's probably the most important setting is uh, go to shining gun not the layer and go to mode and change that to overlay and what you get right now is uh, the difference of that it makes a lot of difference I'm going to show you now uh, I'm just going to zoom in on the footage again to place it perfectly on the eye so basically you will get the reflections that are in your eye are also in the Rasenga. So the reflections that are in your eye are also in the Shining Gun. I will show you the difference. Because that's basically the only setting I was playing around with was the, uh, the mode. So basically just change the mask uh, point like that your eyes have open then just change it to that and of course you need to animate the mask and mask path so your points will uh, animate over time also the moment your eye opens so like the moment your eye opens the thing will appear so we're gonna click the clock on mask opacity just before your eye opens it's all framework so uh, one frame before your eye opens just do op mask opacity and click the little clock for animation do mask opacity zero and then the moment your eye opens it's a hundred percent and of course we're gonna drag this on the eye position and again gonna zoom in on it and we're gonna adjust the mask points and it looks like a pretty good sharing gun in my opinion like this from far away and what you just do is um, for the other eye you just do the same stuff and it's basically the rotoscoping and placing the eye perfectly to make it look a hundred percent professional so it's really that easy I mean um, if you switch the mode to normal you'll get a cartoonish effect and if you switch the mode to overlay you just see the reflection and the light it all matches and the reflection that was in your eye is also now in the shotgun. gun so it's a pretty sweet effect it's simple but I hope you guys uh, were able to follow some of this stuff because I'm freaking sleepy so uh, good luck with creating the shotgun. gun